In this video we're going to show you how to beat the third boss in the Forgotten Saga Rogue Light mode in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel, we give you the secrets to crush Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So probably the really difficult boss fight that stops a lot of people in Forgotten Saga is the Nidhogg boss fight. One armor set you may want to pick up is a secret armor set. Check out that video. Links in the video and in the video description. All right, but I have a different build than that. I'm using the All Father set. That's the first set that you use, and the reason why I'm doing it, it's fully upgraded, as you can see. I'm doing that because I want a lot of adrenaline. Uh, you can see the runes that we've got. Uh, the uh, adder's bite is going in this case have is going to give us some uh, poison damage but uh, in general I'm doing an adrenaline build here for uh, Eivor or for Odin that we want to we want to have a lot of adrenaline so we can use uh, one particular ability the ability that we're using is the focus of the Nornir now, as you go into this fight, you want to make sure you're topped up, of course, full health. Preferably, you want to have all your adrenaline bars filled. So you want to go in and, and attack the druids going in in a way that you're going to have a full adrenaline bar. So maybe not do the last uh, quest to get whatever upgrade or whatever they have but just assassinate a few people so you have a full set of adrenaline bars but you you are not limping in there's a there's a vendor right in there who typically will sell, sell you uh, a a health uh, upgrade right before that uh, but you also want to have a full quiver so right before you walk into the arena there's a lot of arrows you can pick up there are very few arrows in the arena we're using a predator bow here because a lesser bow would not do enough damage uh, relative to the number of arrows that are actually in the arena with uh, the, the dragon Nidhogg. Now the first thing, uh, the, the strategy for Nidhogg is that he has four feet, right? And you need to get the health bar down to zero for three of the four feet. Now, I'm not being very selective which three feet I'm focusing on. I'm just trying to get whatever hits in I can. And I'm using the focus of the Nornir here, right? I'm using all my adrenaline here. And when I run out of adrenaline, I'm going to go in and do some melee attacks to build up my adrenaline so I can go back to the focus of the Nornir. The other benefit of using the focus of the Nornir, and you may say, oh, well, why? I, how am I going to get that ability? Well, I think you do a few runs through, you're going to get the opportunity to get the focus of the Nornir. And then once you get back to Odin's camp, you can buy a favor that lets you choose uh, which abilities you're going to retain. And you can uh, choose two, I think one, um, well, maybe just one and you can choose to retain the focus of the Nornir. Now, it's gonna cost you a few memories which you can't slot into your your uh, skill tree, but it's, it, is, it is such a powerful thing. I think the focus of the Nornir is, is good for this boss fight, uh, but it is excellent for the first two boss fights. And so uh, it will make it much easier to get to Nidhogg as well as defeat him, right? Okay, and so when we got down to no, when we got down to uh, our our adrenaline bars were down to nothing, and we couldn't do focus of Nornir, then then we went in to uh, to hit him. We also go in to hit him when he he's about ready to stomp on us, right? It's easier to get the back legs and the front legs. So if, you, if you're going to go in melee style, go for the back legs, he's going to move his front legs a bit more. Just be careful he's going to step on you. Also be careful when he's going to drop his acid or poison. So, you know, when the poison starts going, then you start running. 
you you have to manage your dodging and, and running. So running is okay because your stamina bar builds back up. But the dodge, you see your stamina bar goes down, right? Also, missing melee hits is going to make your stamina bar go down. you, you got to just really manage your stamina bar well. Of course, the focus of the Norinir is going to take all your stamina, so you have to start running again, so you can't dodge. Uh, so it, you may be open for a hit, so make sure you're not too exposed. And you may have to end it early. See, I had to end it early there. Now I don't have any adrenaline, so I'm going back in to hit him and take off some health and also get some adrenaline. And this, because of, uh, you know, it, it really just depends on the runes you can get. It's just a crapshoot of, of what runes you can get on these things or, or depending on what weapon type, you know, hopefully you have some uh, bonus that will allow you to do. If not, I mean, poison's not ideal, but like fire, lightning, anything, uh, that does damage over time would be nice uh, if you can get it through a rune or a perk in your weapon. And you can see when it's totally uh, the health bar is down to zero, uh, it's you when you hit it, you're you're gonna it's gonna go ping like it's too uh, like uh, you hit metal, and that that's one you don't want to go for. And also, if you use Odin's sight it will not light up as a weak point. So the only places you can hit Nidhogg are on the feet in, in the first part of the, this battle. And so you have to take out three of those feet. We've got two right now. We need to take out the third foot. So this battle has several stages. There's, there's two and then there's like a third secret stage, but it's actually the third stage has uh, two sections, so maybe we should say there are four stages of the battle. Uh, so this first one, we're still in it. When he flies around, there's really not much you can do. Even with focus on the Nornir, it's probably not worth it. And a Predator bow, he is far away, but it, it, you might as well just wait until he just run around. Uh, regain your stamina, and then wait until he gets on the ground so you can get one of those feet when it's ready. So that one I think was already full, and so we're going to this one that hasn't been destroyed yet. So that foot is destroyed, so we got three feet destroyed, and now we're just going to run away. And then the next stage is that he's going to eventually lie down, uh, and you're supposed to hit him in the neck, right? So his weak point now is in the neck, nowhere else, don't hit him anywhere else. And he's got this uh, poison attack. If you get law kind of downed his leg there um, the he won't be able to hit you or down his tail uh, his tail will flop around and so you know don't, don't hit his don't get too close to his tail but if you go way down his wing there you should be clear of his poison attacks I found a little hard to, to find the spot uh, here I uh, in this angle, maybe on the other angle, it's a little easier because it kept on hitting his his uh, his, uh, his horn. But you know, uh, you've got really a lot of time here, so you should not have to rush through this. So you don't don't worry about this. And I think when we get to half health, he's gonna he's gonna have a another. He's going to have another... He's going to get up after this. So actually, when I said there are four stages of this fight, maybe there are like eight. Uh, so this is stage two, and then we're going to get to half health here, right? And then he's going to be... He's going to be okay. He's going to get up, and we're going to go back to the feet. So we're alternating between the neck and the feet. We're in the next stage right now, so we got down to half health. And now we have to go after his feet again. You see his feet are, uh, they've recovered mostly. And so you gotta take out his feet. So I don't have any adrenaline bars left, so I'm gonna have to do that. See, that's his stomp move. You just be aware of his stomp move. And... I have an adrenaline bar here, so I'm going to use Focus of the Nornir, and this is 
because it's so far away here. Now he's got this. He's got this uh, attack, which is really easy to avoid. Uh, the when he's just like spraying the whole surface. So you just get really far away. Keep running. Uh, don't and then dodge when you, he gets close. Uh, but if you run, you keep your stamina bar up, and then dodge only when you need to. And now he's done with that attack, and we can go back with his feet. Um, he got us knocked there, but so watch for watch for his wings, watch for his tail, and watch for his stomp. Uh, but the back feet are the easiest. He does that that uh, twist move. There's his stomp move, and see we're getting a lot of hits in and we're also getting the uh, adrenaline bar up and uh, I think my weapon has a perk uh, that allow that poisons on it like a heart attack so one of his foot is poisoned and so that'll be some damage over time which will help us out um, there you go we're really kind of getting it up I mean I think you could do this like with no bow whatsoever, um, but you, you know, you, you just uh, it gives you a little more flexibility, I think, with this focus of the Nornier approach. Uh, but I could see somebody that didn't have a, a lot of adrenaline generation, uh, they could go for an approach with something like. Uh, you know, just just melee only. I don't know a great way to avoid those attacks uh, when he does that attack. Maybe being in close is the way to be above him. So you get too far away, uh, he those attacks may be effective. And, and we did get poisoned there. Uh, so we have that resurrection uh, favor. Uh, some encourage, but we're not going to use it in this fight, thankfully, and we were able to save it for the fight with Hell, uh, but, which is definitely what you want to do, uh, but he still takes off a lot of health, so that's why, you know, a melee-only focus approach with the Dwarven Defender might be good, but then you, you've got to be able to dodge things and you don't have much stamina, uh, with the Dwarven Defender set. Um, but most, you just, I think in general, the stamina bar is really, really hard to manage uh, for all these boss fights. Uh, because they are, they require you to move so much. They require you to dodge so much. Um, and they're, they're also hard to hit. So if you make, if you miss, then that, your stamina bar goes down, right? But here we're at point blank range and we can't miss, right? So, so we took out that foot. We got one more foot to go. We got uh, two adrenaline, so we could use focus of the Nornir and that's what we're gonna try. And you can see why, um, but we're gonna, we're just gonna lay off right now because he's doing this, um, this poison attack, which we can avoid relatively easily if we don't get greedy and we watch what's going on. Okay, and there's, there's the wing hit and we got hit there. Even though we were trying to dodge, we didn't get it right. And it looks like that one's already gone, so we have to do one of his front feet. Okay. And so the benefit of, of, and I really think Predator Bow is the right bow for this this fight because it's so far away. You know, sometimes you're in close, but sometimes you're quite far away. Um, but maybe a Hunter Bow would be okay. Um, or easier because of the, the final stage of the fight. So we, we this is really stage three and it seems like there are four stages but then there's this there's a secret stage so maybe we'd say six stages of fight so here we're going to take down his health to zero right and they're going to fool you that into thinking that he's actually dead but he's not going to be dead uh so whether we do that with melee or with, if we do that with focus on the Nornir. So the key thing with Focus of the Nornir is that, I don't know if it's bugged or what, 
but you, you can have no ammo and use it. So that's the other reason why I think the Predator Bow is the right one here, because there's so few arrows in this arena that you can you you need to do a lot of damage per arrow. And so I think uh, you know, focus on the Nornir makes a lot of or, or the Predator Bow makes a lot of sense. Uh, and then Focus of Nornir expands the the number of uh, arrows you can shoot. So we're going to. Uh, so it looks like he's all gone. He's dead, but we know better. And we're just right now trying to pick up arrows. But you see these dudes? They're coming in, uh, and they're they're uh, trying to. They're resurrecting him, right? And so this stage, within this stage, there's like two parts of it. The first part, they resurrect him, and you know you need to go back to hit his feet, right? Uh, but in the second stage, those guys, and then there's a, a volley of poison arrows coming down. So there's like 25 guys, two dozen guys that'll start attacking Eivor on the ground. So right now you want to move as quickly as possible to take out his feet uh, after the resurrection. Right? And get three feet taken out. And then... Because there's going to be little guys attacking you that'll make your... See, they're coming already. See? We got four of them coming. And then we got the volley of arrows. So I have a smoke bomb perk there, which is very helpful, um, because that'll allow you to escape when you get in this huge crowd of... Those guys are not very hard. You should be able to kill them with one hit, uh, at least with a large weapon. You know, I think the debate about whether you should use a large weapon or a small weapon, um, I, you know, I think it just depends on your personal taste. You know, if you're missing a lot with the small weapons versus the two-handed weapons. So this is an act gear, but a spear or a scythe would be more or less equivalent. In this case, just hopefully you've got it upgraded as much as possible by this point. And I'll show you, like, my gear more in detail. But in this stage, you just want to make sure you're not ignoring those guys. It's really great for... Those guys are really wonderful for building up your adrenaline bar. But uh, they are really super annoying and they make it really hard to... See, I got the focus of the Nornier going. Uh, and I have to focus on him. But, you know, there's a lot of times where I have to abandon the focus of the Nornier because... See, I'm getting really surrounded there. Even though they're like one-hit kills... Uh, it's it's really bad and I and you can so the circles there you shouldn't be too worried about the circles you want to keep moving well oh, see you got me good but you shouldn't be too worried about the circles um, uh, but because uh, I don't think those arrows do a lot of damage the arrow volleys uh, but you know if you should be very, very worried about his uh, his poison, uh, the poison from the dragon, and also those guys just backstabbing you all the time. Uh, so once you've taken out three legs, right, the dragon's not going to do anything. Uh, so that's a good time to, you know. Don't ignore these guys. Like right, what I'm doing right here. Don't ignore these guys. Don't ignore the dragon's. Uh, it's not his flame, but his his poison attack. But focus on these guys. Taking these guys out, they will eventually. You can take all of them out. And once you take all, I think one of the worries for me was that. So we using the focus of Nornir to take these guys out. One of the worries for me was that they would keep on coming, but they don't. There is a finite number of those warriors. Uh, and so the mistake that I made the first time I nearly beat him uh, was to ignore those guys and focus on the, the dragon, right? Nidhogg. And 
once you've taken them all out, you're not really going to take too much damage unless you ignore uh, Nidhogg's uh, occasional blast of poison. And so, like here, we have no adrenaline, so we're not going to use focus on Nornir. Uh, it's kind of hard in this angle to get in the right angle for that. And then we're, we can go in at this angle, it's a little bit better based on my weapon. And it should be relatively quick if you get the right angle. I just like at an angle where the, the ad gear was always hitting the horn. And there you go, you get the Death Speaker's trappings, uh, which is, a, I think, a, a, a stealth set, uh, which is very similar to the Druidic armor set if you get uh, Wrath of the Druids DLC. Okay, so you can see what my setup is. I don't think it's optimized for this. this. It's good, but I don't know if it's optimized for this. Uh, We've got an extra adrenaline bar. The other thing I would say, just brush with death is a very good ability to get because that's what slows time when you dodge, but you have to have enough stamina to dodge, right? So, yeah, so we have the, uh, we have this at gear, uh, and, and we've got, uh, a, a, a predator bow. You know, I also use a favor to keep the predator bow. Uh, because because I think it's kind of the best bow for the first three boss fights, uh, but it may not be the best bow for the all of them. I would say, you know, uh, Predator Bow is quite nice because it builds adrenaline relatively well, uh, and you take very little damage in the small bases. Predator Bow was the right bow for this boss fight. Uh the hunter bow would be okay for boss fights one and two with the focus of the Nornir. Uh, but probably the the uh, light bow is uh, not the ideal bow, in my opinion. Uh, and if you're focusing on abilities, then you want to have the All Father set, which builds adrenaline. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush... Assassin's Creed Valhalla and the Forgotten Saga. Check out our other videos. Let me know how your boss fight with Nidhogg went.